the PIP dorsal blocking splint. So what we're going to do is we're going to have him in 30 degrees of flexion at the PIP joint and we are going to apply it on the dorsal aspect of that PIP, making sure not to cover the DIP or the MCP to maintain motion. And we are going to put this on and apply a piece of tape to the proximal and distal end of that blocking splint. And we'll have him, like I said, in 30 degrees of flexion at that PIP joint. So we're going to secure it here for three weeks in this 30 degrees. And then over the next three weeks, we're going to slowly increase the amount of extension by 10 degrees per week until they can reach full neutral position. And this is due to a dorsal dislocation of the PIP joint with volar plate disruption.